Good morning, children. I hope you're all ready for sports day. We're super ready. I've been practicing running and jumping, and I've been practicing throwing and catching. Excellent. Well, let's all get warmed up. Oh dear, it's raining. Looks like we won't be able to have our sports day after all. Hurry, children! Let's head inside before we all get soaked. Oh, I was really looking forward to sports day. Not to worry, children. Perhaps we can have our sports day inside instead. Inside? Yes. There are lots of fun things we can do inside when it's raining. Hooray! Our first event shall be the egg and spoon race. Yay! I love an egg and spoon race. The egg and spoon race is about more than just speed. You have to have lots of balance and care as well. Is everybody ready? Ready! ready. Okay then. On your marks. Get set. Go! Whoa! This is harder than it looks. <laughs> You'll never catch me. <laughs> We'll see about that. Careful, children. Remember, both you and your eggs need to cross the line. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Congratulations, George. You are the winner. <laughs> Oops, never mind. On to the next event. Let's see what our next event shall be. Ooh, Ooh art! That's one of my favourite subjects. Let's see who can paint the best picture of themselves. What colours shall we choose, I wonder? Can I have a pink, please? But Susie, I need to use the pink as well. Maybe we can share. OK. <laughs> Wow, these are all so wonderful children. And who's this, George? Dinosaur! Rawr! Can we put them on the wall so everyone can see them? Of course we can. What a wonderful idea, Peppa. OK, last one. Let's theme this activity around music. <laughs> How about we play musical statues? I'll play the music on my guitar and you all dance along. When the music stops, you all need to stop dancing and stand still. <laughs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> Silly George, you were supposed to stop dancing when the music stopped. Never mind, George. How about you come up here and help me play some music for Peppa and Susie? Drum! OK, time for round two. Slow down, George. I'm not sure I can play that fast. Phew! I'm exhausted. This was the best indoor sports day ever! <laughs>
goodness, these balloons are sweeping me off my feet. <laughs> I just know all of the children are going to love these. Let's tie them up here, ready for the morning. Right, class, who's ready for our very exciting adventure to the balloon park? Yay! 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 Excellent! Follow me! Madam Gazelle, hello children. Mrs Pig, look at me. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Very cool, Gerald. <clears throat> Could I speak to you about something? The balloons have gone where? Oh no! What's wrong, Madam Gazelle? Oh, um, well... Mummy Pig and I had brought a bunch of balloons here for you to play with, but they seem to have flown away. Oh no! But wait! Look over there! There's a the balloon! I bet there are balloons loose all around here. Why don't we try to find them all, Madam Gazelle? Oh, you children always impress me. What a wonderful idea. Let's call it Project Balloon Bonanza. Hooray! <laughs> Look up there, it's a balloon. Good spot, Rebecca. Children, do you think you have what it takes to reach it? Yay! <laughs> Just need to untie it. See a balloon anywhere. Balloon! George, maybe if you swung on the swing it would free the balloon. a fantastic job finding the balloons. You should all be very proud. But it was so much fun. We got to see all the attractions in the balloon park. Ooh, what's this attraction? This is the balloon ride. Now that we found all the balloons, it's time for the real balloon bonanza to start. <laughs> Today, Mummy and Daddy Pig 
are taking Peppa and George on an adventure in their brand new motorhome. Wow! This is the biggest, bestest car I have ever seen! Well, Peppa, it's not actually a car, it's a motorhome. I wonder where we should go first. I'm not sure. I suppose we could go anywhere we like. What do you think, George? The motorhome is in a rocket ship. We have to pick somewhere we can drive to. I know. How about we go on a mountain adventure? That's sort of close to the moon. That sounds amazing. I'm going to climb all the way to the top. That's a wonderful idea. Let's go. George, no! <laughs> oh dear. Well, we can't go on a road trip with all this mud on the motorhome. We won't be able to see where we're going. Daddy and I will get this mess cleaned up and we'll be on our way in no time. <laughs> This is a lot bigger than our regular car. I think we might need some extra help from Pepper and George. Good idea. Pepper! George! Hmm, I wonder where they could be. I think they must be playing hide and seek. <laughs> Let's try and find them. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are looking for Pepper and George. They must be around here somewhere. <laughs> That sounded like Peppa. I think it came from over there by the swimming pool. <laughs> That's strange. I was sure that I heard Peppa's oink over here. <laughs> that was definitely George's oink. I think it came from the kitchen. not here either. They must be very good at hiding. That was definitely Pepper and George. They must be in the upstairs bedroom. Where could they be? Boo! No! Oh, there you are. <laughs> we fooled you. <laughs> you certainly did. We thought we were never going to find you. Clearing the mud off the motorhome was a lot more work than we thought. Yes, all that work has made me hungry. I know, maybe George and I could make you a snack before we go on a mountain adventure. That's a wonderful idea, thank you. Okay, first we need to stir the cookie mixture. I can do that. Perfect, now we need to make one cookie for each of us. How many is that, George? One, two, Three, four! That's right! One for you, one for Pepper, one for me, and one for Daddy Pig. Yum! They look delicious! Can we eat them now, please? Not yet, Pepper. First, we have to bake them. Yummy! They smell scrumptious! Why don't you take them to Daddy Pig? I'm sure he's hungry after cleaning all the mud off the motorhome. Look, Daddy, we made cookies, one for each of us. Oh, just what I needed. Puddle! No, George! <gasps> oh, dear, now I'm all messy. <laughs> you look like a giant cookie, Daddy. <laughs> 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 okay, George, remember, when our guests arrive, we will see if they are on Santa's good list or naughty list during our tea party. 
and only the guests who are on the good list are allowed into Santa's grotto. <laughs> I don't think anyone has been naughty though. <laughs> Come along everyone, Pepper and George are this way. Oh, 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 I'm the Santa Claus Piggy. Hi, Pep. I mean, Santa Piggy. <laughs> ho, ho, we will leave you to it. Happy Christmas, everyone. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Christmas everyone and welcome to the most Christmassy Christmas tea party ever! What's up there? Well Pedro, that's Santa's grotto. To go in there you need to be on Santa's good list. But how do you know what list we are on Santa Piggy? <laughs> Let me show you. Are you ready George? <laughs> If you're on Santa Piggy's good list, you need to each decide which present your friends will like the most. <laughs> hmm, George, do you think that present is best for Zoe? I think this present is best for Danny. He loves football. <laughs> That's right, Susie. I know that Zoe loves her toy monkey. Whee! Well done, Danny. Oh, I know. Susie is the best nurse ever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks, Susie. I love superheroes. Pedro, do you know who that present might be good for? Um... Well... Oh, I know. It's for George. <gasps> I'm sure. <laughs> well done, Pedro. Whee! <laughs> What's this one, Santa Piggy? Well, this one is for a little piggy called Pepper. What's inside it? Here's the final challenge, Christmas friends. What's inside my present? Is it a brick, teddy, or a sponge? That's easy. Yeah. Guys, I've got it. <laughs> it's your teddy, of course. Yay, well done. We are all lucky to have such good friends who know so much about each other. You are all on the good list and welcome to Santa Piggy's Grotto. Merry Christmas! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for playgroup today. I'm going to make the prettiest mask ever. I can't wait to see it, Peppa. <gasps> oh no! Where is Madame Gazelle? I hope she gets in soon so we can make our glittery masks today. She must be running late. Maybe she's trying to find art supplies for our lesson today, Pepper. Don't worry, everyone. We can make our masks ourselves. We have a lot of art supplies already. We'll wait here with you all until Madame Gazelle arrives. Yes, and I think it's a lovely idea to get started and show Madame Gazelle the lovely masks you make. I have an idea. We just need to pretend that Madame Gazelle is here with us. Great idea, Mandy! <laughs> right. 
Right, everybody, who's ready to make some glittery masks? I didn't expect it to come to life. <laughs> Don't worry, Mandy. It's only me. Let's make Madame Gazelle proud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class. <clears throat> Let's see what lovely creations you've all come up with in today's Arts and Crafts lesson. Great job, everyone. Wouldn't it be nice to make Madame Gazelle a mask too? Oh, yes, Mummy! But what sort of mask would Madame Gazelle like? I have an idea. I think I know what kind of mask Madame Gazelle would like. Because it's Mummy Pig's favourite kind. Ho, ho, ho! I'm so... Sorry I'm late, everyone. I was... My goodness, you've all made your masks and they're lovely. I'm so proud of you all. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. We remembered everything you taught us. Besides, I, Madam Gazelle, have been here the whole time. Ha ha ha! Madam Gazelle, we thought about what sort of mask you might like. That's right. Could you please close your eyes? My goodness. Yes, okay, Susie. <laughs> Ooh, heaven. You can relax, Madam Gazelle. You have been rushing around all morning. Besides, we have you here all the time now. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>